I believe it was God's work to them. To Fine. People. So why are they making mistakes and um, saying things which are not true and correct? There are some corrections in the Bible because of translation, you know? But the, the main, the, the, the red line in the Bible, I believe that is, that's the main thing. There are some, some but little details which can be changed because of the, the language from... Uh, but if you, go to to the, if, you go to the, if you go to the Greek, original Greek manuscripts, uh -huh. which is what we have today, yeah, we have. not the very original that they, the uh, authors wrote, uh -huh. but at least copies of them, yeah, copies and copies of copies of copies, whatever that might be. When we have the original copies in the original language Greek, we see that the writers are making statements which are not true and incorrect. One more time. Like Matthew. Yeah, Matthew, yeah. In the Gospel of Matthew? Yeah. He makes statements which are not true. No, I don't believe. I, be I believe. Shall I show you how he makes statements which are not true? If, if you can uh, show your Bible, I'll show you. Did you, you, uh, uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Did you read the Bible? Parts of it, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my book is the Quran, right? Yeah, I, I, I never read it, but I will, I will uh, study it. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I want to know your uh, point, right? Yeah. Step by step. Yeah. Matthew, mm -hmm. I'll give you some examples, not too many, mm -hmm. few examples. He writes at the very beginning, yeah. whoever this person is, right? List, yeah. He says, he concludes here, so all the generations, from Abraham to David are 14 generations. From David until the captivity in Babylon are 14 generations. And from the captivity in Babylon until the Christ are 14 generations. No, no, look at two. It's making dark. So what, do you, what is your point? What is scripture? Now, he is saying from Abraham to David are how many generations? All of the generations? 14. 14. This is not true. The faith implication is this. This is inspired, not dictated. No, 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 the faith implication of this discussion is this if somebody writes to you about God yeah. heaven hell mm -hmm. prophets angels mm -hmm. and tells you and informs you about it you expect them to inform you correctly without without making mistakes mm -hmm. without making any errors without lying yes you expect them to convey to you the information in accuracy and accurately you have, you have it uh, accurate, accurately in the quran yes accurate yes yes, yes. we'll come to the quran in a bit right so here even in the greek language you will see i i urge you to go and see what's in the greek yeah, yeah, on this statement sometimes, sometimes. very good very good yeah. what you realize matthew is conveying you some information about these people mm -hmm. which is not true the reason why i say it's not true because we can go to these people who are mentioned in the old testament uh -huh. and we can find these people like in first chronicles chapter three yeah. right these are where close close it down close it because it's too big we can cover this whole yeah, these people are. It's not about words, right? This is the Jesus story that we're interested in. This is not about the big Yelman. When someone tells you about God, it is not a story. 
It's reality. Yeah, yeah. You expect. True story. True story. You expect. I believe, I believe you expect they to give you true stories, mm. but the story they are giving you mm. is what mixed with falsehood. If you have a book mm -hmm. in which falsehood is added to in the stories, true stories of God, you would say, I am gonna, not going to take this story because that story has falsehood added to it. Would you not say that? Would you not say that? If you have a story given to you by God, by people who are inspired, let me know what it says. One moment, one moment. Even the letter kills. So just one moment. Without a spirit, this, 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 this book means nothing. It's just, just a history book. Just one moment, right? Mm -hmm. If God inspires people to write about God, mm -hmm. and they're writing things with false information, are you saying it doesn't matter? Does it make, make sense? If they write about with the false, picture. no. If they write with false information, are you now saying so it doesn't matter? You you think that this scripture is little small uh, thick? It's not small. Anything. What I'm saying. You, you think that that will affect my faith? Wait. If the, if yeah, um, no. Yelman Yelman, the point. The if point. now Matthew says there is only two gods, yeah, mm -hmm. God called Alpha and God called Omega, mm -hmm. and Mark says there is only one God. Would you take both of them to be true? One more time. If Matthew says there is, there are two gods. Yeah. God called Alpha and God called Omega. Yeah, Alpha and Omega. Yeah. yeah? Two gods. Example. And then Mark. The and Mark says in another gospel there is only one God, the God of Christ. Mm -hmm. Would you say Matthew is correct in saying there are two gods? They, and they, it doesn't matter? They all, they all see it from a, from a other perspective. So even if he said there are two gods, it doesn't matter? He didn't say there are two gods. No, if he no, did, if he did. It's not written in it. So no, no, no. If so he example, did. Well, give you an example. If he did and if he did and they're yeah, yeah, nonsensical. If it's, it's you could come out and say if, if. Yeah, yeah. Elman, Elman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The example, give what you example. we are trying to know, but illustrate the point. Suppose something to you. Elman, are you listening? The yeah, point, this, he has a good point. No, so I, I what I'm trying to illustrate to you is this. If someone writes to you about God, you would expect them to write with accurate and correct information. Yes? If they say things which are untrue, would you just say it doesn't matter? But how, how is it possible that this book is the most sell book every year again, 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 again? There has to be a, a God so, behind it. So the criteria of the authenticity of a divine origin of a book mm -hmm. is if it's a bestseller. Is that you say? Is that what you say? <laughs> it is a bestseller. Is he, that you say? He has to believe in the Injil. He has to believe in the Torah. My friend. He hasn't got a my copy. friend. Mm -hmm. Did you know that Muslims Can you have know to believe interact, in the please? Gospels? Excuse me. He has to believe in the Gospels. So Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I've heard he hasn't that. even got a book to Can show. Can you know interact, please? You've got a head start on Have a nice discussion. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm, I'm helping then, my then. Christian brother. You can listen. Yeah, you can Mother, that's okay. Listen. Let's have a discussion one by one. If you have... You're also helping each other, right? No, you know what? No one doesn't talk. I didn't say anything yet. No one doesn't say anything. And I'm here for the first time, right? He is coming every time. Look, look. I didn't mind. He's telling you anything. Did I mind? No, no, what no, no. we are saying in a principle, but, but, but in can, general. I can convict you. Okay. I, I no, can't no, no, do no. that. I'm not saying I can convince you. No, no one can convince you except God. No. Yeah. Do you agree? By the Holy Spirit. Only God can make us believe what we believe, right? Exactly. If I cannot convince you, I cannot convert you. Neither can you do that. Only God has the ability and the power to do it. Do, yeah, yeah, yes. Of Good. I, so I having that understanding, Spirit. let's make yeah. one this clear. No. If we believe in a book which is inspired by God, as you say. Mm -hmm. You would expect that book to give you accurate information and not it untrue. Does. It does. So Good. Okay. About salvation. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Wait. A second. That book. Should I, know, I know the main things, the basics, the the the, um, the, the, the foundation to to get saved and to get listen. born again. Okay. Mm. This book, if the author gives you false information mm -hmm. about something else, would you still say it doesn't matter? No, it doesn't affect my faith. If, if there is a small detail in it, like a place what if, in the city what or whatever. If, what if I give you one, two, three, four, many examples where he gives you inaccurate, yeah, false but, information? But the, 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 the big Would it matter the then? The big picture will always be Jesus Christ and the okay. New Testament. Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. if I give you 49% of the information to be false mm. and 51% true, 
Would you say it doesn't matter? If the 49 undermines the other 50, you'd have yeah. a point, but it doesn't. There is no contradictions on articles of faith in any of the... Are you going by percentage? If, if more of it is true and less of it is untrue, I, I, so it doesn't matter. I'm going by the big picture. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Line. Big picture I'm saying is, if I book 50% untrue and 50% true, would you say it doesn't matter? Are you are you following? Are you following? It doesn't make sense. It does, if a book no, gives you okay, you if a book gives you fifty percent inaccurate information and fifty percent accurate information, would you say it doesn't matter? Uh, it's, 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 it's not a. It's not a, a, a how do you say that? When would you say it matters? When would you say it matters? When? <laughs> when, when? Don't get drawn into these non nonsensical hypotheses. If you had a book that was 50% right, 50% wrong, what would, and then conjure up these speculations. And, and, and when, when does it matter? Who, 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 will, uh, who will say uh, that 50% is wrong and 50%? Who, who will say that? Are you, are you the person who Look can like say that if you are 50% I'll, 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 I'm not? In principle, if we were to show you 50% wrong, it's a hypothetical example, right? 50% mm. wrong, 50% right. Mm. Would you say still it doesn't matter? How do you know that the 50% is wrong? If we were to show you and you agree if that it is wrong. If 50% got you home to where you need to go, you'd yeah. be thankful, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Amen. So Amen. if you agree that 50% is wrong and 50% right, would you then still say it doesn't matter? I, I, I have already told you, if, 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 it, if, if it describes the foundations mm. to get saved, to get born again, okay. and to get heaven when I die... Now I follow you, now I understood so, you. Then, then so basically, so now basically you're saying, you can believe in a book, mm -hmm. which can be replete with, or which can have many errors, many contradictions, many discrepancies, many inaccuracies, many untruths, the many truth. falsehoods. Wait, matter, wait, 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 wait. To you? It doesn't matter as long as exactly. the broader picture is okay. So, so now I understood your position. If it describes Jesus Christ, it's enough, it, it, it's enough, for, me, it, it's enough for me because I believe he is the way. I, I got you. I got you. And the, uh, now, and the big thing look is at the, the difference. The people who wrote this believed what you believe. They do not believe what man saw. No, that's, that's this came, didn't come out of a void. It didn't come out of a cave uh -huh. by an invisible spirit. This came from a community that was functioning and active that he's required to believe. Can you hear him speak, please? Yeah. 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 Are you his, yeah. his mentor? Yeah. No, you don't know. Oh, he's 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 do you mind me helping you? Do you mind? Do you mind? Are you trying? So now, Elman, Elman, Elman. Okay, in, in fact, in fact, bring him in. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, now. listen, bring him in. That's all right. That's okay. Why, why leave him? Now, let me ask you this: Do you really believe in one true God who deserves our worship and demands our worship? You have already uh, asked the question. Now, I want you to affirm that. You, you are repeating and repeating. Now, I want to affirm it. Do you really believe in one true God, one and only God, who demands our worship? Yeah? 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 Jesus Christ. No, no, do you want... Excuse me. I want to make it clear so I understand your position. Do you believe in one and only true God who demands our worship? Yeah. Good. And his name is... Fine. No problem. Is Jesus that God? Yeah. He's the son of God. He's the son of God and they are, they are, they are three together. You see? This is the point. The moment you say he is that God, then the father isn't any part of it. Do you know why? Yeah, there is, according to what I just said and what you agreed, yeah. there is only one and only true God. Mm. If you are one and only true human being, can there be any other human beings anywhere? No. Let me let me let me speak to you again. Listen, Elman, listen to you as well. If if you are if you are the one and only human being, yeah, you talking to me? Man. I'm talking to you now. Wonderful. If you are the one and only human being, yeah. can there be can there be another human being? This is a nonsensical uh, pr uh, pr presentation. is not worthy of responding to. Uh, do you know, a whole series of other nonsensical. Do you know? Do you know why? Can we deal I don't. Do you facts? know why? I do not want to sense. consider talking uh, to this gentleman before. This is not sincere. It's, it's because it's because it's because the answer is obvious. Well, if you are you brother, if you are the one okay. one and only human being, the answer is there cannot be another human being. Exactly. exactly yeah. So I don't want your answer. We know the answer. Yes. It's right. Historical. Right. So. If there is only one and only true God, and if that was Jesus, then he cannot be the Father, because it's Jesus. 
Do you follow so far? It cannot be anyone else other than Jesus. Do you? Do you? Look. Why? Why did the Bible get the Trinity wrong? Why did the Bible get the Trinity wrong? Who are the members of the Trinity according to the Bible? Trinity. The Bible gets the Trinity wrong. Give us a verse. Who are the Who are the members of the Trinity in the Bible? Uh, let me ask you again, both of you. Who are the members of the Trinity according to the Bible? Trinity means three in one. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. According to the Bible. Where does it say in the Bible, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they're three in one? Have you where? heard of the Father? Have you heard of the Son? No, Have that's not the, the question. Spirit? The question <laughs> is, is three. No. where... You, can, you, you can won't be find Tawheed like, in, in the Quran okay. either. Just, you know, where, yeah. relax, where relax, in the yeah, Bible, yeah. where in the Bible, yeah. they are mentioned that the three are one? Where? Answer is... Where in the Bible, it is mentioned that these three are one, because that's what Trinity is. Yeah. Trinity means mm -hmm. tri-unity, yeah. three and in one. They're all uncreated and eternal, therefore they must be one. That's not a question, that's not a question. Where in the Bible, mm -hmm. repeat my question again, that they are stated to be one, three because in one. They describe three of them. So where, they where? describe the Father, they describe the Holy Spirit, they describe and they're eternal. Right. They're eternal. So now, yeah, if you have a description uh -huh. about these three, it makes them their one. They're one in the same sense. Do you follow so far? If you have the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit mentioned, even though it doesn't say they are one, but just because they are mentioned, it means they are one. What and they are Trinity, right? Yeah, they are Trinity. Is that what you're saying? And they're uncreated. And wait, wait, wait. I'm not... That's all that matters. Are you, the of the are you, are you exactly. stating, are you stating that... Before the foundation of this world, home. I have to go home soon, but... Um, you can go home, but, you know, I will show you where the Bible gets the Trinity wrong. Oh, no, I, I'm leaving it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, God bless you. Let me show you, let me show you where the Bible gets the Trinity wrong. Shall I show you the verses? The Bible. Can I show you the verses first? I believe. You know the creation, the story? When no, before, you, before you go, I made the claim, right? Mm -hmm. And I... Come inside, we come inside, because it's raining. Right. So, if I find mm -hmm. the, these, the three individuals I mentioned, mm -hmm. it means they are Trinity, right? Trinity. Yeah? I believe in the Trinity, yeah. No, you believe in the Trinity consisting of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. I believe I'm also gonna... in, a, in a... Let me show you. Who are the members of the Trinity according to your belief? God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Just because they are mentioned, yeah? So let me give you other other trinities in the Bible. Did you understand his question? Did you understand the question? Yes. Can I can I show you? No, I don't understand. Did you understand his question? No, I don't understand. Can you repeat again, please? Okay. I asked you where, and I asked that gentleman who left, because he knows exactly where he won't be able to answer. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's why he had to go. Maybe another time, right? I'll give him the opportunity. I don't know that. Uh, that, 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 that is, that is just, uh, Maybe another time. Okay. He, he went for some personal well, reasons. You, you, you Never mind. I take it back. I take it. You have spoken to him before. Oh, okay. I asked him where in the Bible it says there are three are one. Three are one. There is nowhere in the Bible there's a three are one. The only thing that you have closed is where three of them are mentioned. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to give you other trinities. Yeah? Yeah, show me. Another trinity. Another trinity. Sounds interesting. Yeah. It's cold. Oh, I'm getting wet. Put the hoodie. It's cold. I charge you before God and the Lord Jesus Christ and the elect angels that you observe these things without prejudice, doing nothing with partiality. This is 1 Timothy 5, 21. So the three people that are mentioned are God, Jesus, and the selected angels. So the Trinity consists of the Father, Jesus, and elected angels, because they're mentioned together. It's not the only verse, let me give you more. Yeah, but what, Where what, the Trinity what, in the Bible is, the Trinity in the Bible is the Father, 
the spirit and the angels. Not the Holy, the Father, sorry, beg your pardon, the Father, the Son and the angels.